Okay, I'd like to share some ideas for building um, batch file scripts. Having a bit of fun with the batch scripting, and I think batch scripting is a good choice for this, primarily because uh, batch files and batch scripts are so widely available. If you've got a Windows PC, you've got a CMD there. And also because batch files uh, only require a relatively small command set, so there's a small amount of um, learning to get uh, to get started. And these batch files I'm showing today um, are really using uh, less than 12 different uh, commands, um, and they are often less than uh, 20 lines of code. So it's very compact, it's very accessible, very uh, available, and um, can be can be a lot of fun. Uh, so let's have a look at those 12 or so commands that uh, I think are worth having a look at. Firstly, uh, if you've got this uh, dirty dozen command, let's look at the things that affect the shape and colour of the windows. Um, here you've got some sort of uh, cubist style display. Um, it's, uh, it's certainly not supposed to have any purpose, but uh, um, mode is used to change the size of the window. Um, and colour is used to uh, to give the background colour. And then in terms of the uh, the calculations within the window, there are really only three commands you need to get to know: set, if, and for. They're quite extensive commands, but worth uh, worth uh, getting to know because that's a real logic control of any uh, of any Windows uh, script. The other uh, command that I think is a lot of um, fun in animation is title. Let's have a look at um, the snakes video again. If you'll see that as the uh, snakes are coming up, uh, a snake is also starting to come out of the, uh, the left hand side of the title and work its way across uh, across the screen. And this is just an example of, uh, of how I might do. Obviously title, it's uh, limited by your imagination, but the title command is there. It it, uh, it does this quite well. In this case, I've uh, I've controlling the title using the start slash b command to run it in a asynchronous thread, but it doesn't need to be run like that. Um, it's uh, very much up to you. So anyway, that's title. Have a bit of fun with that. The uh, a shaped curve I've got here was inspired using the set command. Set the set's quite good for for plotting. It's more powerful than one thinks it is. Um, and I then use a random command to position the snakes in different places, so it's uh, unpredictable, more interesting to look at, and to control the size of the uh, of the snakes as well. Um, and it's not a huge leap of faith to go from something like that to something that's uh, making the plot and then uh, using the CLS command to clear the screen. Um, and the basic algorithm here, which is true for them all, is that you build everything, prepare everything first, and then display it as quickly as you can using um, the echo command. So build first, prepare, uh, and then display as, as quickly as you can. Um, and where you need to pause it, um, then some sort of timeout or sometimes some uh, delayed loop is, is a useful way of doing that. So let's just close that down. Um, the place where that algorithm is most obvious is in these balls, and there you've got a state where between each movement of the ball you're doing some sort of calculating the change, building the screen uh, ready for the change, and then displaying it um, as quickly as you can. Um, and that's true for, for, for the bouncing balls, it's true for this um, uh, version of it that reads text from uh, a text file. It can't read War and Peace, but if there are 100 characters or so, it'll read them very ni nicely, and I think bounces around um, very fast as well. Uh, if you look at a, a matrix type of display, um, this really only is 20 lines <laughs> of, of code, and I think that makes it very accessible. So you've got something to initialize um, all the, the variables, give them uh, position and uh, characters. You've got something to then actually calculate the change. In this case, they're just moving up and down on the, on the y-axis, but um, you could equally well um, move them diagonally in uh, both x and y um, direction how they were before. I let them carry on uh, going down. Um, you've got some some text there to uh, to build the uh, the screen and combine the rows, uh, combine the elements into a single row, and something to clear the screen um, and display it as fast as you can uh, using the uh, the echo command. 
so middle miss tw 20 lines and you can alter this to have them bashing together and colliding and uh, doing all sorts of fun uh, fun things it's a nice uh, compact algorithm I think so I wanted to talk about that wanted to share that and also talk briefly about um, color color is really what's uh, inspired me um, to do this uh, somebody in my family has very kindly pointed out YouTube videos showing this sort of um, thing where you can uh, you can use the finestra slash a command to um, to have multi colors and uh, 256 colors um, I think that's really uh, really powerful um, you can see though uh, it's a slow it's a slow beast uh, the red lines look fabulous when they're drawn but it was much much slower than the um, the s-shaped curve in monochrome and that's um on this pc i'm running it here on a two three year old dell windows 7 pc um, it's too slow on my pc certainly to use with a cls command for bouncing balls um, but for instance it is it is certainly fast enough to be used with a snake command i think that works uh, quite nicely with snakes um, it can be used to highlight their eyes and um, I have a randomly positioned tongue when the next one pops up randomly as it I hope will soon um, you'll see that uh, I've made that red as well and I think just an occasional use of color uh, like that can be quite fun uh, for animation uh, here's a, a last uh, <laughs> a randomly placed tongue to uh, demonstrate that I think that's quite that's quite effective but it is um, too slow in this case to use with uh, with the bouncing balls, but the bouncing balls are very fast. I think that's um, that's a great uh, speed. Um, uh, I even think in the the, the minimalist style um, matrix uh, animation, the fact that you can write that in 20 lines of code makes it very accessible. Uh, something good to to have a play with, um, and I think uh, I think it's really surprising how fast. Um, Windows 7 can be in, in this sort of batch, batch file in, uh, animation. And I just really want to say thank you very much for your time and um, have fun. Bye bye.